Karachi. Let's defend against somebody trying to choke you with his hands in a standing situation. It's a very common, very natural choke that attackers try to use and it's actually a very bad technique and very easy to defend if you know how and if you are trained to do so. So let's check it out. So it's like Karachi. Okay, that choke is very natural. People get angry or they want to control you and they just use their hands against your throat and try to strangle you or push you somewhere and the most natural reaction and be wary of it is to freeze. So whilst many if not most people just assume that they turn into Bruce Lee and McGregor as soon as they are being attacked, that's not the case. The most common, common survival strategy is to just freeze, let it happen and survive. Which is a reasonably good strategy but there are better ones. Okay, so as soon as he's trying to choke me, I'm not trying to fight against him. I'm trying to make distance. So just peel his hands off my neck and the choke is gone. And the next thing I want to do is use my foot to kick. Okay, there's a natural and okay reaction to just try and kick his balls. But the reason that I do not even teach this is that Kicking the balls is very much reliant on pain. And now if we're in a kind of peaceful situation and I'm kicking his balls, it's going to be the end of it. But in what situation is this going to be when he's attacking me? Imagine how effective will a kick to the groin be if he's on cocaine? Well, not at all. Like zero. Like zero. I've seen what people on cocaine are doing. I've broke somebody's arm and then he's swinging the broken arm at me and even I know how I behave when just kind of pushed for, for sparring and somebody's kicking my balls it's just like is it the end? like it's not it's not okay but if I am kicking your stomach that is creating space and likely a better reaction and whatever situation I am in like if, if I poop I can run or I can crush him if I like to. Okay, it's just like boop, boop, and now I can let it rain if I like and do whatever I feel like. But the key is to create space, and it's so simple. Bop, boop, and boop, and do whatever. The very same thing you're trying to do if you're on a wall, okay? Now I cannot push him off back and I cannot go back myself, but I can go to the side. And even if his hands are very strong, it's gonna work. And very same thing. thing. Boom, 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 or run. Okay, I just try to move wherever I can move. Boom, 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 and I'm out. Very simple solution to a very dangerous situation, but make sure to practice it, to be ready when you need it.